So, as we saw in the previous session, the bending of light occurs when light enters the medium at an angle. Let me show you what I mean. If I have, if I'm going from air to glass, if my light ray is traveling like this, there's not going to be any 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 change in the direction of the light, because sure, it's going to slow down when it reaches as it comes to the new medium. It's going to slow down, but all points on the wave front will slow down the same amount. However, if I'm going at an angle that's like this where I'm at some angle from the normal line, then my light wave, well, let's see, if I'm moving from air, where it's traveling fast, to glass, what does it do? Well, they draw my wave fronts, they're going to slow down on that side. That means that my wave will travel like that. You don't have to do that, by the way, where I'll give you some scenario uh, and ask you, does the light bend towards or away from the normal? Or I might give you a sketch of some different scenarios and you have to pick the correct one. So bending of light occurs when light enters a medium. And that occurs in a lens. So uh, the cornea is a type of lens. It is a curved surface. It is a, a type of lens. And part of the reason that we're even really talking about geometrical optics because we want to know how does how does optics describe what happens in the human eye and then also how does optics describe what happens when we try to correct vision for the human eye we have different types of lenses they're called converging and diverging you'll need to be able to identify these I'll show you these on the next page convert converging and diverging butchered that word let me just write it again misspelled it too. Um, converging and diverging lenses are spherical in shape. What I mean by that, I'll show you on the next page, is that you can imagine all lenses as being cut out of a sphere. So, to show you, a convex lens this is a special type of lens that's called a converging. So converging lens are convex lens. Look like this. See these curved surfaces on the side of the lens? Those are spherical surfaces. So if I draw a converging lens or a convex lens, you can imagine that each of these sides is like it's part of a bigger sphere. Or I can imagine this side as if it's part of a bigger sphere. And it's just cut out. You have a small portion of these two interfaces between these two glass spheres, and then you cut it out to get this lens. Now, of course, that's not how they make lenses. They take a slab of glass, and they grind it down or form it in some way until it's the right shape. So this is a con convex lens is called converging because of what it does to the light. If I have light rays that come in and they go through the lens, they will converge at a particular point. And that's why it's called a converging lens. A concave lens is a diverging lens, and it looks like this. Uh, it is has two spherical surfaces. They're different here. It's, uh, you can imagine these two spherical surfaces as if you have these two spheres that are sort of resting up against the two spherical surfaces. So they have a radius, for example. They have a focal length. They have a, excuse me, a, a radius or circumference. Anything that you would use to describe a sphere. And they're called diverging concave lenses because if I have light that comes in to a diverging lens, it will not converge at a point, but they will diverge. So that is the diverging 
aspect of this lens. I also want to say here that um, let's define a couple of things. If I think about this right here, there is a point right here in the center of the sphere. This is called our center of curvature. And it is equal to the radius of that sphere. There's another point, unfortunately I drew this kind of small, but there's another point that's in between the lens and the center of curvature, and that's called the focal point. The focal point, or F, is equal to the center of curvature divided by 2. You need to be able to identify the convex and concave lens lenses, and you also need to identify whether they're converging or diverging. You also need to identify these lenses, biconvex. Uh, biconvex is really just another name for what we've talked about. So it just means that it's convex on both sides. By the way, we usually talk about lenses that have the same focal point on either side, but you can imagine that you don't have to have that, that I can have a lens that has a certain curvature on another side, and then a different curvature on the other side. And doctor, or optometrists can create lenses that are very specific, depending upon what they need to do for the, the human eye that they're working with. Biconcave is really just a concave lens, but we just call it biconcave. Plano convex. Plano convex means that it's planar on one side and convex on the other side. And plano concave means that it's planar or flat on one side and concave on another. Don't worry about meniscus convex or meniscus concave. I just want you to know plano concave, plano convex, and then also recognize that biocon biconvex and biconcave are really just specific names for the concave and convex. I've already defined the focal point, but let's just, it's an important thing, so let's talk about it one more time. I'll give you a bigger picture this time. The focal point, let's do it for a convex lens. The focal point, if I imagine that these are part of a bigger sphere, the surface, this is the center of curvature, and this is the focal point. So the focal point has a geometric value that is equal to the center of curvature divided by 2. I can also define the focal point in another way. If I have a converging lens, for example, and I have light rays that are coming in, and we said they focus at a certain point. What do you think we call that point? Ding, 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 you got it. That's called the focal point. So if that's the focal point, the center of curvature is over here. The focal point is where parallel light rays focus. So I'll write that out in words. Where the point where parallel light rays focus. That'll become really important as we get into the eye, because it turns out that the, the focal point or the focal length of the eye can change, and we'll need to determine where that focal length is for different situations.